She was in a public foyer of a public building and she knew cameras and reporters were close by. Whether or not the Queen intended her words at the Welsh Parliament yesterday to be heard is not clear, Buckingham Palace won't say. But we do now know what the Queen thinks of world leaders who have not yet committed to next month's climate change summit COP26. Extraordinary, isn't it, she said. I've been hearing all about COP. Still don't know who's coming. No idea. She went on, we only know about people who are not coming. It's really irritating when they talk, but they don't do. The Conference of Parties, or COP26, the Queen spoke about is the UN Climate Change Summit in Glasgow at the end of this month. The British government is hosting the world and the Queen will attend along with other senior royals. Its most ambitious goal is to cut carbon in order to limit global temperature rises to 1.5 degrees Celsius. President Biden is coming, but other key world leaders have yet to confirm their attendance, including President Putin of Russia and President Xi of China. And until this morning, Australia's Prime Minister, whose country exports huge amounts of coal, had been lukewarm about his attendance. Whether it was a coincidence or a desire not to further irritate the Queen, Scott Morrison has now confirmed he's coming. Overnight, uh, I confirmed my attendance at the Glasgow summit, which I'm looking forward to attending. It is little wonder that Prince Charles, who's been campaigning on environmental issues for 50 years, sees COP26 as a vital opportunity for the world to change its polluting ways. He delivered that message straight to a summit in China this week, still the world's biggest polluter. We seem intent on testing our unique world to destruction. Environmentalists say the Queen's words might be a little awkward, but ultimately they will help. What's good about the royal family saying it is, of course, that they're international figures as well as, as UK figures. Uh, and that all helps build pressure on those who are laggards to come to the table with more than they currently are doing. Just like at the G7 summit in Cornwall in the summer, ministers will use the royal family where they think they can help on the world stage. We wait to see who will turn up in Glasgow. Now they know the Queen is paying close attention to the final guest list. Chris Ship, News at 10.